Unnecessary observation. Targets acquired. Annoying recitation. Let us proceed to facilitate communications. Recitation. And bring about the termination of hostilities. This shall not stop us for long. Take them down. Oh. I will silence this one. This over with. Let us end this. Let us end this. What's going on? Yes. I've been waiting for my flight to Terrace for five years. The TSF isn't cut out to handle all the problems on Citadel Station right now. We need Republic assistance. So you've returned. While I was disturbed that you chose to defy our orders and obtain transport off Citadel Station, the matter has since been closed. It was the decision of Republic authorities that your testimony would no longer be necessary, unless you'd be allowed to go. But as we discovered, you had already left. In some ways, it was lucky for us, avoiding a possibly embarrassing situation. Why does the Republic do anything? The head doesn't know what the feet are doing. The hands don't even know they've got fingers, let alone where they are. My opinion, they probably performed their independent investigation and figured it wasn't your fault. Anyways, you should just be glad I decided to overlook the fact you escaped arrest. Yeah, yeah. And if there's nothing else, I've got a job to do. What is it? I see. And where and when did you kill them? I see. Well, you certainly earned the bounty on those two dangerous criminals. Here it is. I think you'll find the amount more than adequate. The TSF once again thanks you for your cooperation. So you've returned. What is it?
چنی صبح مران کا دور انتز کریم سو چی نور تهرم به چاک وندی دو بوم را من نیکا دوست چین پالا مولی Hey there! Care for a game of Pazak? Hey there! Shorth. If you insist. Well done. Care to play again? If you in. Well done. If you in in a row. I suppose my lucky card isn't so lucky anymore. Here, why don't you take it? I think I'll take a break from the game for a time.
I'm through with Pazak for a while, friend. I hope that card does better for you than it did for me. The war has really inflated prices here in the Outer Rim. Look at them running! Parama Kawana Kojogitsa! Thank you. 
Loca cámara. Welcome back.
Greetings, ma'am. My primary function is to provide information about Citadel Station, Telos, and a variety of other topics. Please feel free to direct any of your inquiries to me, and I will do my best to answer your questions. Well, check it again. It can't be anything else. Just check the damn connector. I don't trust the diagnostics any more than I trust you. Because I don't like droids. They break. In the head. Well, whatever you call that thing on your... head. Yeah, well, if I'm mean to you, it's because I care. Well, this is Onderon. It looks like there's a long line to get into the Isis starport. Something feels wrong here. A great disturbance here in orbit, and again on the planets below. I guess this blockade is a symptom of larger problems on Onderon. Looks like we're about to find out. I'm receiving a message from some Colonel Tobin, patching it through. The Ebon Hawk. I was told to expect your arrival. I don't know your business on Onderon, but it ends here. We've taken some hits. 
We can try to fight back, or I can outrun them and hide us on the jungle moon nearby. It's your call. I can't keep us in one piece much longer. Sorry to spoil your fun, but we've got to land now. I'm gonna put us down on that jungle moon. You know, just once I wish someone was glad to see us. But no, if it isn't weapons pointed at our heads, it's someone trying to blast us out of the sky. I remember the days when welcoming committee used to mean something, without being followed by blaster bolts. It's taken a little damage, nothing too serious. I'm shutting down all unnecessary systems until we make repairs. It'll keep us from being a target. Looks like one of the moons of Onderon. Not sure which one. It's mostly jungle and mountain. I did pick up the remains of an old outpost near here. Maybe that's why there's all these clearings around. Maybe they were once settlements. There were no settlements here. Those clearings were most likely once craters or crash sites. Crash sites? This is Duxon, where the Mandalorians began their crusade against the Republic. The remains of whatever outposts you detected here are military ones. We should be careful. This is where the Mandalorian War started? This doesn't look like much of a battlefield. Much is buried here, and there is much that should remain buried. Until the ship is repaired, we're not going anywhere. Unless you can find another route to Onderon, we should sit tight. There may be a means to get to Onderon by another route. The Force has guided us here for a reason. We should explore our surroundings. There is... something here. Something? Oh, there's something here, all right. Predators. Not small flit darters, but big, mean, nasty predators. Nevertheless, we should explore our surroundings. And that nearby outpost would be as good a place as any to begin. Well, if you go, be careful. No telling what other ships were forced down in the battle. I have a feeling the ship will not be repaired until our business here is concluded. Do I make myself clear? Yeah, I understand. What's so important about this place? This is where the Mandalorian Wars began. She fought here once, and there are things here she must see. She fought here? Why didn't she say anything? Do you speak of all your battles? Or are there some you wish to forget? Yes. Have you come with questions? Ask, and I will answer.
This shall not stop us for long. Let us end this fallen. The orbital fighting just ended. That Colonel Tobin stirred up a Minox nest when he took a shot at us. I'm still working on the repairs, and I have to take down some systems, including sensors. So you have to do without me for a while. I know, you're crushed. How do you like that? Oh! Tonos emaragith, wanara korachi drumka sa inchobin sasha, tosima na rochata, tarana mo sibu and asarans, crema sunkum ratungala, chawi mo jubu in kosoracha. Febko emaream ka wata situ in sula raka raka chata, tamaso kin chuda wanka, mo pi una wana sich koratawa. Tonos emaragith, wanara korachi drumka sa inchobin sasha, tosima na rochata. Tonos emaragith, wanara korachi drumka sa inchobin sasha. Tonos emaragith, wanara korachi drumka sa inchobin sasha, tosima na rochata. Fallen. Fallen.
You let the ship escape? I will deal with your failure later, Captain. But for now, find that ship. Our ally has indicated that the Jedi hasn't left the system yet. Send a detachment to Duxon. If you find anything, alert me immediately. Now get out of my sight. Unnecessary observation. Targets acquired. Annoying recitation. Let us proceed to facilitate communications. Recitation. And bring about the termination of hostilities. Stop. That is not the skeletal remnant of a war long past. That is a recent kill. It appears that Duxon isn't as abandoned as we would be led to believe. A few days, a standard week at most. The jungle has not left its mark on his armor yet. You probably have more questions, but let us press forward. You may find the answers you seek. Let's go. I hear you. Let's go. What is it? Yeah? What is it?
right there. We've got you surrounded. I'm surprised you got this far. The jungle doesn't usually let its prey go that easily. What are you doing here? We claimed this moon decades ago, when we reforged ourselves after Exar Kun's defeat. Some of us call it home. Why are you trespassing here? If we were planning to attack you, then we would have opened fire as soon as you entered the clearing. You left yourself exposed on both sides, and you would have been little more than target practice for us. We have orders to escort you to our camp. Our leader wants to speak to you. This may prove of use to us. Let us hear his words and see if they hold any value. No one enters the camp without an escort. Try it, and you'll have to get through us. We've got no orders to fight you, but we will defend ourselves. Looks like there'll be bloodshed before the day is over after all. For the glory of Mandalore! for long.
So you're the one that picked a fight with my sentries. The sensors also picked up your battle in space. You've had a pretty busy day. That ends now. No more fighting in our camp. I am Mandalore, leader of the Mandalorians. Mandalore is the name we give to our leader. Becoming Mandalore is the greatest honor any Mandalorian could aspire to. When our leader falls in battle, the most worthy takes his place. So even though your army killed our leader, it was only a matter of time before we chose someone new. Me. So it's transportation you want. It so happens I have a small shuttle that's more than capable of running the Onderon military blockade. I make occasional trips to Isis for information and supplies. If you want to go with me, you're going to have to prove your worth. I don't travel with anyone I'm not sure of. You look capable, but Isis can be a dangerous place. If you want to travel on my shuttle, I want to make sure you aren't going to be a liability. Mandalore is the name we give to our le So even though your army... They're scattered, perhaps. But we're still alive. Alive and rebuilding. Many Mandalorians have fallen from the path of honor, and are now no more than common mercenaries. But that is changing. This used to be the heart of the Mandalorian war effort. From this complex, we commanded an armada that had the Republic on the run. It didn't last. Covert camps are not meant to attract attention. Because we conquered them, the people of Onderon still hold a grudge against the Mandalorians. So we keep our presence here a secret. Mandalorians have a rapport with this jungle. Every moment here is a struggle. All creatures gripped in a constant war for survival. The sole purpose of the weak is to feed the strong. We train here and learn the lessons of the jungle. The beasts also help us keep our edge. Yes? Have you come with questions? What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? All scouts report in. All scouts report in.
Your ship's pilot and gunner are both skilled. You destroyed many Onderon fighter craft in the recent space battle.
The match between Kex and Jedi is over. The Jedi is the clear and honorable victor. If you want to fight again, let me know. Here to watch a fight or to participate. You choose to fight again. Now face a real Mandalorian warrior. Tagren, what are your terms? Just fist and foot like your fight with Devril. <laughs> Nothing else. Tagren chooses to fight hand to hand. Remember, no weapons oh. allowed and absolutely no use of your force. violated the rules of the battle circle. Have you no honor, Jedi? You used an item when you were explicitly told not to. You must follow all the terms of combat. You must not leave the battle circle. You must not kill anyone. Even a Kanok could learn these rules. If you fight again, follow these rules. One more breach and you will never enter the battle circle again. Watch your fight. Just tagrin.
what? Tag. Between Jedi and Tagrin is over. The Jedi is the clear and honorable victor. You have fought well today. The only Mandalorians left for you to fight are our champions. No one can fight a champion until they have proven themselves worthy. And it must be real proof. The kind you gain fighting foes to the death. And a champion must observe and deem your actions worthy. There are two champions in the camp. Braylor and Kelborn. Until you prove yourself in their eyes, the battle circle is closed to you. Unless a Battle Circle Champion vouches for you, you cannot fight anyone else in the Circle. So the Jedi Order isn't completely dead. I have studied much- I could only do that if I observed you fight an enemy in real combat. I have seen your matches so far, and I do not doubt your worthiness to face me. But the rules cannot be changed. The other champion, Kelborn, is in the jungle on a mission. Perhaps your paths will cross, and you'll have your opportunity there.
the problem i'm trying to get the relay dish operational but several components are broken and need repair without the relay we're vulnerable to attack especially right now your space metal may have attracted unwanted attention and our shuttle sensors can't cover the whole moon Oh, seems just about everything involved with a relay dish is broken. I've been trying to fix it for weeks and still no success. I can take a look at it, if you will permit it. If you think you can help, there's the broken cables right over there, and the relay maintenance structures behind me. You can find the telemetry computer in there. The only thing I know for sure is we need a new phase pulse converter for the tracking computer. That part's rare enough in most spaceports. Finding one here would be difficult. We actually already found one in an old weapons cache, but flaming cannox ate it. That's a problem with cannox. They'll leave you alone if you keep your distance. 
But if you turn your back on the pests, they'll eat anything they can get in their mouth. They're vermin, and no challenge for a Mandalorian. Since they provide no sport, we ignore them. We checked the cash manifests, and that's the only one that was in storage. It's probably the only working converter on this moon. Just gut every cannock you come across. You wouldn't believe the things you can find in those little beasts. All right, then. Come back when you have the converter and we can see about getting these systems working again. our headquarters before Revan's final attack. Only a few volunteers were allowed to stay and fight. Our Mandalore! Any progress with the repairs or the phase pulse converter? That's the best thing I've heard in weeks. I'll be sure to tell Mandalore about your help. Look, I have some extra parts and computer spikes. Take them. You can probably make better use of them than I can. Any progress with the repairs or the phase pulse converter? Ready to head back to your ship? Give the word and I'll take you there. We've called off our patrols outside the camp. We usually find some entertainment in clearing out the worst of the beasts. But without our patrols, some of the larger beasts may be around. None of us will be around to bail you out of trouble. You've been warned. If you head outside... Our sensors picked up three ships landing in this area after the space battle. 
If any of the Onderon military come searching for those ships, we don't want them finding our base. I don't know. It was some sort of freighter. It didn't land in any of the clearings along the path. Knowing some of the larger Duxan beasts, the crew's probably already dead. The people of Onderon still live in fear of us. They were the first world we conquered in the Mandalorian Wars. Their resistance was laughable. We cut through their defenses like vibral blades through cloth. Isis fell within hours. If they knew we were here, they would eventually gather enough courage to attack us. It is not a battle we wish to wage. Yet. We're looking into it. With your help, the relay dish is working again, so we aren't blind to the rest of the planet. The Onderon military has cordoned off the planet, so there shouldn't be anybody else down here. Still, our sensors occasionally pick up signals on the surface. Signals? What signals? It's like someone is searching the planet, and doing so under the noses of the military. Whoever they are, they've stayed clear of us. I don't know. Duxun's all jungle except for this camp. We heard reports of a Zakeg wandering the paths around here. They're a good challenge for Mandalorians. If you see one, stay out of its way. Without us to back you up, you'll be dead in seconds. It's a huge red lizard that's built like a Baragwan battle tank. It has a hide so thick it might as well be Durasteel plating. We keep clearing them out of the area, but they keep coming back. They're tough opponents for non-Mandalorians. You fight a Zakeg. If you survived such a battle, you'd gain much honor. Strong words. It would be amusing to see you try to kill such a beast. Try the outlying jungle paths if you're determined to seek one out. And bring me back a trophy from your kill as proof of the deed. If you head outside the camp... Duxon is a dangerous place. Never drop your guard. The Onderonians avoid this moon. They are too weak to tame this place. Revan may have won the last war, but our spirit isn't broken. You 
you here to gloat over you? So what? Finally arrived, Jedi. I seek to reclaim the honor that you stole from me. I challenge you here, outside of the battle circle. This time, we fight to the death. Now you face a true Mandalorian on the field of battle.
get this over with. Let me handle this. Talon. He got swarmed by those little beasts. I think they're called Canucks. I hope this mission is worth it to the Colonel. If not, wait, did you hear that? That's her! Get her! Set the staging camp up here. This jungle just never ends. Lieutenant, two of our scout patrols haven't reported back. Do more? Nothing is worth this. More beasts! Everyone, attack! Let us end this. Get this over with. Let us end this. Thank <laughs> you. 
shall not stop us for long.
This shall not stop us for long. Let's get this over with. A moment. That beast there. Do you see it? The force flows even through these simple creatures. If you empty your mind, you may be able to feel its thoughts. They aren't fully formed. Basic instincts, primal urges, every breath dominated by the needs of the moment. is strong in such creatures, but their minds are weak. Pray for those able to hear their thoughts and influence them. Good. Beasts can be easier to affect than other sentients, but you must bridge the gap between what distinguishes us and them. You feel its thoughts? Yes. Like a low rumble before the storm. Use the force to create a barrier around it, carefully and slowly. And you have the potential. With practice, you can make any animal passive and pliable. But the cage around their perceptions is a fragile thing. Many things can break its hold. Violence, especially. All things in time. Oops. 
Let me handle this. This one will be long. seen much during the war. Is it your wish to continue causing such suffering? As always, General, when you lead, I shall follow. But it is only because we have been through so much together. this over with. How do you like that? This shall not stop us for long.
Silence this one. How do you like that? Let me handle this. Oh. Davril, a warrior's death. You understand more of our ways than I thought. I'm impressed. Too bad you're a Jedi. You'd make a formidable Mandalorian. Ready to head back to your ship? Give the word and I'll take you there. Hear the glow 
gloat over your victories and so why are you back? Any progress with the repairs or the phase... You do? Let me see. I don't know how, but these pieces look in good enough shape to repair. I'll have the telemetry computer repaired in no time. That's pretty mercenary of you. A lot of us have been down that road recently. Here's some credits. I appreciate the help. Now, I have some work to do. Nothing to say to you. I found more of their scouts, but they started shooting as soon as they saw me. I heard blaster rifle fire coming from deeper in the jungle. You find anything? That's the way I would have handled it as well. But I had my orders. Find out anything useful from them? Colonel, huh? Could be Colonel Tobin. Tobin is General Vaklu's personal cath hound. If he's on your trail, you might want to steer clear of Onderon. Mandalore needs to know about the scouts. I'll let him know your role in dealing with them. You might, you might not. One last thing about the battle circle. Your actions have proven you worthy of facing our best in the circle. Perhaps we can face each other there. See you at camp.
Kelborn said you dispatched some covert military scouts in the jungle with him. He spoke highly of your work. The gate guard said you managed to kill a Zakik. Those are tough beasts, Jedi. You've earned some respect around here. How many Kanoks did you have to kill to find those parts, Vazuka? That was a tremendous help. I won't forget it. You've made quite a reputation around here. You did better than I thought you could. I was planning on heading to Isis tomorrow, but I'll move up the timetable and take you now. You won't be able to get to the Ebon Hawk from the city. If you need to grab anything from your ship, I'd do it now. I know, it made quite a racket. Good work. That's to be expected. They don't really like it when someone makes loud noise in their territory. It wouldn't be much of a test if all you had to do was take a hike through the jungle, now would it? You're alive, in one piece, and learn something about the beasts of the jungle. Are you ready to go to Isis yet? Kelborn told me that they were covert military and probably aligned with Colonel Tobin from Isis. Kelborn doesn't think they'll send out any more scouts, but that doesn't mean there aren't more of them out there. Colonel Tobin is General Vaklu's right-hand man. Despite his martial skill, he handles himself as a functionary more than a warrior. Back when we were fighting Vaklu's resistance during the Mandalorian Wars, Vaklu wouldn't have any use for a poisonous Kenrath like Tobin. But Vaklu seems to have adapted well to peacetime. When you were last here, you probably didn't even go to Onderon. The Republic knew that Onderon's fate would be decided on its jungle moon, not the planet itself. To begin with, when you talk about Onderon, you're really talking about the ancient walled city of Isis. It's the only inhabited settlement on the planet. It depends on who you ask. Queen Talia rules from the royal palace, but her cousin, General Vaklu, has a great deal of power in Isis as well. They disagree about many things, just like their citizens. We fought General Vaklu during the war, and he is a worthy adversary. Queen Talia is young and hardly a match for him. Onderon is a recent addition to the Republic, joining during one of the darker eras in Republic history. Since joining, the Republic has endured many wars and great battles. The people of Onderon don't possess the resolve and strength needed in these times. Many of them want to break away from the Republic. They want to go back to an earlier age when they could cower behind their walls. Their spinelessness made them easy to conquer. We're not self-sufficient here. We need supplies. Isis is the only place to go for them in this system. Not much choice. Which is unfortunate, because their animosity towards Mandalorians makes it inconvenient to go there. I don't blame you. They're a sad people. I have some things to look into. I'll talk to you later. For Mandalore! Kelborn says you are worthy enough to face champions. You may fight in the battle circle again. You have enough honor to face a champion of a previous day. Kelborn, what are your terms? Swords only. No items or the Jedi's force. And no sword of the Jedi's choosing. Just a simple long blade. Kelborn ah! chooses to fight with the blade. You may fight with fist, foot, and the blade provided. No oh, using the ah! force or any other item. The match between Jedi and Kelborn is over. The Jedi is the clear and honorable victor. I underestimated you. A difficult admission for a Mandalorian. If you fight in the circle again this day, you will face the bravest and strongest of us, Braylor. Oh. Here to watch a fight or to protect. 
We eagerly look forward to this fight. Braylor, you are our champion. How would you fight the Jedi? No terms today, Sergeant. I would fight the Jedi with all of her arsenal. Braylor will fight you as you are. Still, no killing and no leaving the battle circle. But you may use whatever else you want. Between Jedi and Braylor is over. The Jedi is the clear and honorable victor. You have defeated the most worthy of us. You walk away the champion of the battle circle this day. We will not forget your deeds or the honor you have earned this day. And so, I lose again. I still have much to learn. The last Jedi I fought was in a ship to ship battle on Malachor V. I lost, but was spared. Before the Mandalorian Wars, we looked at Jedi as weak. Their code restricted their full potential. The Jedi were limited by a narrow sense of morality that couldn't survive a real war. But our view was the narrow one. I see that clearly now. I sense we both learned something today. You are the champion of the battle circle this day. Watch the other spar. Criticize or praise as you see fit. That is your right as a champion. You know, I'm glad I found you again, General. You're right about that. We were together at Malachor. I don't know if anyone else could understand. You getting philosophical on me? I'm here because you found me on Telos and I decided to come along for the ride. Not that I had much choice after we got going. Tired of me already? I was frustrated. Watching the Athorians getting pushed around by Zerka, I thought I could make a difference, but it was taken away from me. Guess if one planet was good enough for me, why not the galaxy? You might not be looking, but maybe it'll happen along the way. Was there something you wanted me for? Let me see what you have. That's everything. Now all you need is a little quiet time with the workbench. yet? I'm going to talk with Zuka and have him start a shuttle flight check. After that, we'll head out. How are the port stabilizers? They check out Mandalore. All systems are green. Good. I want the shuttle bound for Onderon within the hour. What do you want? Is all in readiness? <laughs> it is. Like I promised. Why? You want to back out now? My only concerns are for the one you escort to Onderon, Mandalorian. Would you do any less for one of your clan? Don't pretend to understand us. We Mandalorians are a breed apart. If by apart you mean scattered, broken, and lost, then yes, you are correct. Not for long. Soon the Mandalorians will be strong again, united as one clan under one banner. 
mine. Ah, yes. The Great Crusade. After the first one was ended by Revan and the Jedi. Such a defeat was merciful, an echo of the end, when your ships were in flames, crushed in the grip of Malachor V. But I do not need to remind you of such things. I was at Malachor V, and I remember how many Jedi died to stop us there. And no matter how many dead orbit that planet, the Mandalorians still live. Clan Ordo still lives. See Kex there? He was serving on Nar Shaddai's muscle for the huts. Kelborn was a scout for the Duros on Frontier Worlds. I brought them here, gave them a purpose. This galaxy will be ours again, I promise you. That is the future. Indeed. The future is always in motion. It is a difficult thing to see. Perhaps there will be no New Age Mandalore, no great Mandalorian crusade. Perhaps your people fought their last battle at Malachor V, and you have been dying ever since, a quiet death that will last centuries. And perhaps all that remains will be what I see before me, a man wounded by a Jedi, encased in a Mandalorian shell, hunted by the thought of being the last of the Mandalorians. You've got some guts talking to me like that. You think your age or your Jedi whelp are going to keep you safe from me? No, Mandalore, you are wrong. I hope that it is you who will keep the one I travel with safe. You are loyal, and you have served many masters, even when they abandoned you. Do you wonder where he wanders now, Mandalore? Why he gave you your orders, then abandoned you at the edge of the galaxy? How do you know that? I know many things, and I can answer the question that burns within your shell, Mandalore. But there is a price. You must keep the one I travel with safe. She is important to me, more important than anything. Show the same loyalty you have shown in the past, Mandalore. If there is a Mandalorian crusade, let it be for something that will carry your people's memory into the future. So when the time comes when there are no more Mandalorians, then at least their honor will remain. The one I travel with has walked your same path. And I ask that when the end comes, that you remember that kinship, even if it seems there is nothing else left. Forget the Jedi. Keep your eyes on her. Hmm. One, two, three. Mandalorians, we've got company. Stealth targets have breached our perimeter. Wait a moment. I sense there is a disturbance in the camp. Our enemy has tracked us here. I did not expect them so soon. How did they get here, I wonder? Regardless, we must eliminate them all. None of them can escape. Our whereabouts must remain a secret. Let us join the battle. Our allies will need our help. follows you on a regular basis. I think it's best for both of us if we head to Isis immediately. Grab your gear. My men will take care of cleaning up the mess.
Vaklu saying that the Republic ship attacked first? That's madness! Unfortunately, lie or not, it's a madness people will believe. The timing of this is atrocious. A space battle above our skies? So many of our fighters lost? Curiously, only Tobin's men were involved in that battle. That's Shuta! Strong word, Your Majesty. But there is no good time for news like this. I recommend we continue with our plan. But won't that bring even more followers to Vaklu's side? Increasing his power? For a time, perhaps. But we both know he's not the true threat. It's his unseen support from the shadows that we must drag out into the light. Then, and only then, can we strike. I fear by then it will be too late. of ISIS. It's been shut down tight for months now. General Vaklu is close to declaring martial law. We won't be able to travel too far in the city. Fortunately, I have a friend in this quarter of the city. He's a doctor by the name of Dagon Ghent. His office is on the other side of the market square. It might be best if you do the talking around here. The Andoronians have a mixed view of Mandalorians after we conquered their world.